what is abstinence period in an IVF cycle. Hello friends, myself Dr. Devan Patel. I am working as a chief hemorrhologist at Sunflower Women's Hospital. So what is the abstinence period? Abstinence period is the period since the last ejaculation has happened or it might be due to masturbation or by natural intercourse. Why the abstinence period is important? First of all, let us understand what is the normal abstinence period. As per WHO manual, the normal abstinence period is 2 to 7 days. If the abstinence period is more or if it is less, the count and the volume of semen will vary. So it is very important to have normal abstinence period. If the abstinence period is too long, the semen volume may be more and the sperms which are ejaculated, they might be aged spermatozoa and these sperms may not be able to fertilize the ovum. Now if the abstinence period is too less, that too less means it is just for example one day or less than one day, then the semen volume will be very less and the sperms which are ejaculated, they might be immature or too young to fertilize the ovum. So now we understand that if it is too aged sperms or too younger sperms or immature sperms, the ability to fertilize the ovum will be reduced. In few patients where we have very low count, just for example, it is less than 1 million. In such kind of patients, we recommend to have less abstinence period. This less abstinence period might be 2 to 3 hours to less than 1 day. This less abstinence period will help us to retrieve more, sperms, more sperms and also the sperms having higher fertilizing ability. At Sunflower Hospital, we are having certain advanced sperm selection techniques which help us to choose better sperms for IVF treatment. Thank you.